And now it's time for another Booze and News Top Story. Top Story of the Week time. All right, cool. Well, this week's top story is... It is uh, it's, uh, oh, it's a story that we talked about on the show before. Um, do you remember, Coleman, about... Fuck, when was this? Like two years ago. Like one of the, I think one of the first episodes we ever did um, was about this... Let's see what this happened. This was in 2020. Um, there was this cop who, uh, got caught, uh, there was an old lady who went to, like, Walmart or some shit, I think it was, and she walked out without paying with, like, $20 worth of shit, right? Which was, like, I don't even remember what it was. It was some, it was some dumb shit that she took, but apparently, you know, she has, like, dementia, and it, this is, it was this woman here, um, uh, Karen Garner, 73 years old. She has, like, Alzheimer's or dementia or some shit. And, um, anyway, this cop caught her stealing shit, was called, went, tackled her to the ground, beat the shit out of her and all of this. Over, like, I was gonna say, I know where this is going, dude. The more helpless the, the person is, like, he beat the shit out of her, didn't Oh, yeah, he? Okay. He, he, he beat the shit out of her. And, um, like, broke her hip and some other, like, maybe a rib or something, like, thrown her to the ground, and she has mental problems, she, like, apparently, like, she had, like, gotten out of her house, her caretaker wasn't watching her, you know what I mean, and yeah. she walked up to Walmart and was walking home or something, and, and she, you know, she, she had left without paying, but anyway, um, the video's horrible, we played it a long time ago, I'm not gonna play it again, but, and the good news of this, everyone leaves without paying at Walmart, yeah. It's not a crime. Yeah, and that, it was that's... and it was literally like some soap and shit. Like she stole like twenty dollars worth of bullshit. But anyway, the cop um was sentenced. The the Colorado police officer was actually sentenced and is gonna spend five years in prison for beating this old lady's ass. Which oh. is awesome, you know. Hopefully yeah. other cops will think twice about, you know, beating the shit out of old people uh who have yeah. health mental problems. Oh, that's great. I'm hearing more news stories about that now, so that seems to be picking up a little bit. Um I hope so. So yeah, it's kind of, a, kind of a good story. Yeah, that reminds me of another story that um, I don't know if you know about, but there was this comic John Merrifield uh, from uh, Lafayette, Louisiana, who um, ha had a like Cajun memes Facebook page and uh, hosted a fake event on face on, on Facebook for Antifa. I think uh, like a year ago, some a few months ago, mm. and. Uh, 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 the city responded and like brought police out to the event and stuff. And there was like nobody there. I think mm -hmm. there were a few people there. And uh, then he did it again, and the city brought police out to like a fake Antifa event oh, okay. <laughs> that, they, that they thought was real. They didn't get that it was it was satire. <laughs> and so they sued him. And uh, I don't think he. They, I don't think they won. But he's on the hook for their lawyer fees, and it's like twenty seven thousand dollars. Wow. That's crazy. Did you see? Uh, I don't have it. I don't have the article for it. But did you see the? So there's like been like a bunch of prote protest at uh, Walt Disney, like Disneyland and, and Disney World and shit, right? Um, over like I guess them backing like uh, yeah. or opposing the "Don't Say Gay" bill and 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 you know what I mean and stuff like that. And so there's like a right wing conspiracy that like these Nazis and shit is really just like Antifa, like I guess buying Nazi clothes and dressing up like Nazis or whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, doing like doing like false flag events and stuff. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. It's uh, they're they're all crisis <laughs> actors. Yeah, that really won't come back to haunt them. Yeah. So anyway, that's this week's top story. Finally, some I, some good news. I um, mean, that's that's fucked up. It kind of undermines their whole because like the how that's a right wing talking point is that like oh this is really Antifa that's doing that. Right. So great. Well, you know, it's so it's so funny when like they if they when they ever have to own that shit. Like another story, like I wasn't going to bring up today, but we might as well since we're on the topic. Is uh, did you see that OAN and Newsmax lost their like defamation lawsuit? Oh wait, one sec. You heard that? You heard that cop that beat up that um, that lady? He was actually Antifa. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he was really yeah. Antifa. He wasn't even a cop. Right. Um, he. he he was uh, actually Black Lives Matter. Yeah, um, he was a Black Lives Matter cop. Thanks for watching. Follow Booze and News on Twitch. We live stream Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you enjoyed this video, click that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified when we put up new content.
Cheers.